Easter integer multiplication bingo. So this is the Easter themed version. All the instructions are on slide two. There are 26 different bingo cards. If you have more than 26 students and you want to duplicate, all you need to do is click on a slide and come up here to slide duplicate. And you can duplicate as many as you need. All of the multiplication problems you're going to call out to the students are on slide three. As you use them, just click and hold and move to the right hand side. And that way you know which ones you've used. At the end of the game, you can just come up to the undo arrow, click it repeatedly, everything goes right back into place. I give the students editing rights so they can scroll up and down until they find the bingo board that they want. To claim a board, I have them just click in, click in one of the chips and type their name or initials. And that way the other students know that this board has been claimed and they need to find another one. Now, as you're calling these out to the students, students are going to solve. When they find the solution on their bingo card, just click and hold on one of the chips and then move it to cover the answer. And they get five in a row, they can just call out bingo. And if you want to check their answers, just have them move the chips to the side. And that way you can check and see if the answers are correct. And at the end of the game, the students can come up to the undo arrow click it repeatedly. All the chips go back into place and their name comes off. And that way if they want to play a second time they could scroll up and down find a different bingo card and they could play again.